Well, these are unfamiliar surroundings and circumstances for Spain. Just three days ago, beaten in a European qualifier for the FIFA World Cup for the first time in 28 years. No longer favourites to win this group, playing in the city of Badajoz rather than Madrid, Barcelona or Seville. Villequeta just behind him. Sarabia, low and hard. Gaia deflected it in. 14 minutes gone. Spain in front. You see, he's down as 98 in some quarters, but Georgia themselves say it's 99. Spain piling in, and Soler knocks in a second. Two in two for Soler. But Spain are dominant. Spain are rampant already, and Luis Enrique sitting very comfortably already in this match. Now here's Llorente. Ferran Torres being hustled by Llorente. Poked on here for Llorente. Ferran Torres! Well, those two have deserved the goal between them. Linking in tandem time and time again. Three nil to Spain with four minutes of the half to go. It has been one way traffic. No, oh, for a moment I thought he was going to get possession back, but suddenly they're away again and Sarabia is in for Spain. Unselfishly steering it wide. Gaia's up there as well. And there's Sarabia and it's four. Well, if ever you want an example of how to counter-attack from an opposition corner, there you have it. Celebrations for Spain. Salutes from Sarabia. And Spain heading back to the top of Group B, albeit they are still effectively playing catch-up with Sweden. Well, Luis Enrique's team heading back to the top of Group B, for now at least. Two great players. And I suppose when the best fall, they bounce back up. More determined, more focused, more intense than before. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.